Hi everybody, this is Debbie Happy Cohen here with Joy Based Living. And today's topic is called blah 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 blah. And the story is so a little girl and a little boy are playing and they're having a good time and the little girl's learning how to play guitar. And her dad walks in the room and he is a perfectionist and he starts giving her the you should be doing this and do that and do this with your fingers and that with la 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 and her friend who's sitting up in the tree house above the daughter and the dad in the middle of the dad's tirade the little boy starts saying blah 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 <laughs> And the dad stops himself immediately and goes back to the other adults. And that's where I heard the story was from one of the other adults. And they all just started laughing. Even the dad was laughing at himself for being such a, a little ninny instead of just letting his daughter have a good time on the guitar. Well, I think that those blah, 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 blahs live inside of each one of us. And they usually, they usually hit us... Um, most people I've met, they usually hit them silently. They're like silent but deadly. Kind of like you want to go do that thing. You want to go express yourself in that certain way. You want to experience these certain things. You want to contribute or create whatever. But then you get distracted. Or there's something else that's more important. Or you get really busy. Or everybody else is more important than that. And everything else is more important than that. But in your soul... That still small voice inside of you, you know that if you don't do that thing, you're going to suffer for it. You're not going to feel as good. You're not going to feel as alive. And what I'm suggesting is, is that if you will get to know the voice of blah, 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 in your own mind, in your own head, in, in, its, in its silence, don't let it be silent. Don't let it be silent. Give it a voice. Put it on your calendar that you're going to do X, Y, Z. And then the blah, blahs will start getting louder when it gets closer to that time. So, for example, one friend of mine, she, uh, she's wonderful at time management in terms of putting what's important to her on her calendar first. She'll even do things like a year in advance. And when there's a day that's coming up that she wants for herself, she'll put a green marker around that day. And so those are called her green days. Well, sometimes the voices of blah, blah visit her. Of wait, but oh my God, this other thing is so important. This person needs me so much or I need to go do this job or I go do this, I go do that. And then she finds herself either depleted or overwhelmed if she doesn't take care of herself by really honoring her green days. And so those are, that's just another example of the blah, blah, blah. Another example of the blah, blah, blah could be in this video. Oh, you know, I'm just going on for a little too long. I'm taking up too much space. Um, now who's going to want to hear this? This is just, you know, a, really, another, you know, you know, Deb, you, you know, you could have done blah, 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 blah. And when I hear the blah, blahs, well, sometimes I listen. Sometimes I listen in a good way and go, you know, that's some good suggestions in there. So you have to learn to discern also between, um, is this a good suggestion that can actually help me deliver a better message? Or is this the message of the gremlins and the perfectionists that say, stay small and stay tiny? Because actually that's the ultimate result of the blah blahs, is that everything else and everybody else becomes bigger wider, more important than what you know in your heart. So don't let the blah blahs cover up what you know is really important to you. At Joy Based Living, we are standing with you, especially with that still small voice inside of you. Because when you are listening to that still small voice, that comes from your heart. And it's in the heart that we are all connected. So when you serve from your heart and that could mean when you're in front of a Walmart cashier and she's being so friendly and you say you get happiness points today and you give her a little gold star or you just give her a compliment 
that's from your heart that ripples out so the blah blahs could be oh no no don't say anything to her oh yes oh yes oh yes say something don't let the blah blah stop you own your joy own your voice the world needs your magic if you'd like to join us for this conversation which we are having on so many wonderful levels at joy based living just go to joybaseliving.com thank you very much have a wonderful rest of your day